punishing me. Hey everybody, T today we got a Silver One PC. Uh, more Revod review. Uh, I'm gonna try something a little bit different uh, with these reviews so I can get more of them out. Um, where I, I only review maybe the first few minutes of each round. Uh, enough to get get everything that we need to get. Uh, oh, there you go. So, using this map, geometry is excellent. So anyway, so before I go any farther, uh, this is a shorter review, or I mean a shorter match, so something like this isn't too bad, where I might do the whole thing. Uh, but on the longer ones, I'll probably either just pick one or two rounds uh, to review, just so you guys aren't getting hour and a half long videos or hour long videos that... Um, where, where I'm basically re repeating myself throughout it. So I, I think it'll help everybody. It'll allow me to get more reviews out. Um, and it'll, it'll allow you to guys, allow you guys to get the information, uh, in a, in a smaller format. Uh, so anyway, into the review, uh, these on Circuit Royale, these, um, barriers, it feels like they were made for more. They're perfect. The shoot norms on there is excellent. I, when I shoot an orb up here. Right, yeah, they're right there, but they're gonna move away from that. I like to shoot it right in here, and it stays in there a little bit longer if you get the angle right. Sometimes it'll bounce off and go off into space, but um, try to shoot it where they're going to run. Um, this is also like a super dangerous spot. You're on the low ground and, and you get hit, but not much you can do. I like that you're standing behind the car. Aggressive fade, but let's see. We didn't really need it, though, did we? Because okay, it looked like your team was gonna gonna make it, and um, the only reason I'm saying that is, is typically, I mean, it depends who, but you always want to keep the car. Is, is where I'm going with it. Uh, if, if you know somebody's gonna secure the kill, or they're not in danger or dying, just let them go um, and keep somebody on the car. Like, this is good. I like your movement up here. There's people on cart, right? Well, now there's nobody on cart. Okay, so if you notice that happening, right, you, you can't make other people do stuff. The only the only thing you can control is you. I like that you actually baited that out. Those are really good orbs. That was excellent. I do like the pressure here. Uh, you guys are actually smoking them. I hope this isn't a really one-sided win. I guess we'll see. I, I forgot to skip to the end to see how it plays out. Back again. Cap with three minutes left, and looks like you guys full hold them. This is gonna be tough, okay? Maps, matches like this are tough to look for too many improvements, right? Because you guys are just steamrolling them. So, We'll, we'll check it out here. We're, I'll check out uh, probably through the first coalescence and, and we'll see. So you see how you're kind of far back here? You really don't need to be this far back. Good orb. I, I still would have... I probably still would have damaged orb there and then sprayed. Close to the orb. That's, that's an excellent orb trajectory, by the way. So that was a good chase. Right? Because you, you, nobody's in danger of dying like because you're chasing. So I, I guess that's the difference I'm, I'm trying to point out. All right, so when you shoot orbs here, and think about this on, on any map geometry, right? Look for the flattest spot you can that's going to come back, right? This is going to be kind of hard because there's that round spot, but if you can hit like this, and make it'll come back. And this... More often than not, it'll hit behind them and then come back behind them, and it's going to throw them off because they're going to start taking damage, but they're not going to know from where. So, uh, as opposed to just shooting it right at them. All right, makes sense. So let's, uh, I already backed it up. Let's see where that goes. Um, can't move when you have this big up. So, kind of good because it bounces around in here, but, you, you know, you don't really have much control over that when you do that. So just bounce it off, off somewhere, somewhere close. So I can get their soldiers to go back and see what's happening with that. Oh, 
Oh, he jumped down. Bad play. I love that you just went after him, though. Because you can always... He can't kill you instantly. It's really hard. Um, especially that close, because if he rockets, he might kill himself. Uh, I like that. That was... That was a very dangerous coalescence. Uh, but it, it worked out. But that was a very dangerous coalescence. Coalescencing when you're when you're standing still, you know, because like, it basically any of them, well, except for the, the Zarya, the Mercy, can just headshot you. Uh, so be careful with that. It, did it work? Yes, and that's kind of why I don't like reviewing these types of matches because it did work, and I don't want you to get used to doing that. See how you're standing out in the open here? Don't work on staying near corners. Is that gonna go out the door? Yeah, so that went out the window, right, as opposed to bouncing back. Is everybody dead? Yes. But the more thoughtful you are with your orbs, the, the better you're gonna be. At this point, I personally would not be on the cart. I would be looking for alternate angles. Kinda like what you're doing now, just sooner. Because then you can do stuff like that. Because they're so focused on the cart that you can you can get away with a lot more. So, all right, let's keep going. Where's that go? Yeah, it's hard from that angle to get value out of those usually i don't use these i maybe on attack for once because usually at the you know higher ranks everybody's going to be up here anyway nobody really stands down here um i would shoot them against this wall so they bounce now bounce that way um or shoot them in the room where the mega is if somebody's in there like that that's good he's standing he dies next to the mega right and that's stuff in these ranks that you can take advantage of and that you did that's good Standing out in the open, you got your fade forced out because you're kind of scared. Right, so you, you're going to get punished for that more often than not. I do like the pressure, though. In a higher rank, right, you're just standing in the middle of the street. Uh, you're going to die doing this. Right, and the reason why this team lost, I'm sorry, this team lost, is because they're not punishing you for doing this. So, you know, the the higher you climb, the more likely this is going to be punished. And it's interesting, once you climb high enough, then people start standing in the open again, but it's don't expect it. It's kind of a weird dynamic. But, uh, yeah, don't do this. You can stand right in here and do everything you're still doing. Or you can stand up here, right, and you're still more out in the open. Or you could stay behind this car over. Standing in the middle of the street is very dangerous, right? You might get hit by a car. Good orb. I like that. Scout puts pressure on anybody in there. Right? Just see how that orb, like you shot it at her, but it's just bouncing off the wall there. Mm. I don't know why we faded there. I don't know why we shot a healing orb at the enemy. So just be, you know, be thoughtful about your orb. Um, if you if your intent was to try and heal the ball, don't do that. Don't ever try and heal the ball unless he specifically is like stopped in front of you uh, and you heal him, which he really shouldn't be doing. Right? The reason why ball is the way he is, right? So see that there, you can heal him there like you did. Uh, but don't try and heal him when he's like diving. It's just not gonna work. So you shot a damage orb at your... Okay, so I don't know if you just misclicked or what. Um, being able to see when Reinhardt has Shatter uh, is excellent to being successful as Moira. Um, if you know he hasn't used it in a while, then he's got it. And you can also see, like especially like lower ranks, it, 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 even all the way probably through, through Masters, they, they kind of telegraph their... 
I, even at high ranks, I can I could tell when a Reinhardt wants to shatter. So they get really aggressive like this. Um, he's going to shatter. So be ready for that. I don't personally have the reaction time to like always fade away from shatter just reactively. So I have to know when it's coming. Then it makes it easier for me to react. And then he pins the ball. Should have pinned you, right? See, that's again, that's another mistake you you didn't get punished for. So, and that's that's why it makes these games hard. So I noticed the mistake, but you didn't get punished for it. So you know, some somebody might be like, "Well, you didn't get punished for it. Why? What's bad about that?" Because in a in a different game, you're gonna get punished for that, and then maybe that's why you lose. But I do like the pressure. That was a good fade, honestly, right? You put some pressure on the team, and then you go and get in there, right? Just be careful, and, and don't stand, you know, don't put yourself in too much danger until your fade's back. No, that was good. That was a really good fade. More pressure, I like it. Right? See right there? You didn't need to be standing out in the open there. If you stand behind those barriers, you can still beam them, and then if he starts looking at you, just duck behind the barrier, and then you still have fade. And you don't beat him full charge just by taking damage. It seemed like that orb kind of happened because you didn't really know what you were doing, or you were kind of felt kind of lost. Good. I mean, that idiot didn't do anything about it. So take advantage of it. Beam him down. All right. So you didn't have your fade there, so you took damage. So just, just be careful about that kind of stuff. Oh, you see, you should have used the map geometry there. So slow down with your orbs. You, you're trying to, like, act too quickly. You're trying to act faster than you think. So just until you can train the muscle memory to shoot your orbs against the geometry, um, practice it consciously. Right? Like that. That was perfect. Right? Yeah, I don't fly off the space. Good. But the, the concept... See, there's a good fade. So work on understanding when he has that so you don't have to react to it like that. Good or bounce. Like it. You can angle a little bit more down on there. Just, just use the map geometry. Like sometimes it's going to hook on something like that, right? It's going to hit some stupid little thing. It's going to fly up the space. No big deal. It's just on average, right? You want to be able to use your orb to your advantage. Okay. This flat spot right here is a good good place to bounce, bounce those. So when you're going around corners like that, just think about the, the different types of geometry you can use to, to bounce your orbs. So see how you're standing in the very middle of the road? Standing, you know, just, again, stand near the corner. I, I feel like in, in other matches, you probably get punished for this quite a bit. I like that you don't seem to panic when the soldier ults. That's that is good. That is a good habit. So another orb you can do here, right? You can you can try and get it so it'll bounce back and forth on here. A little bit hard because of the downward angle on here, but you can do it if you kind of shoot it downward. That's one of those things that kind of takes practice. But then it'll make it stay in the area long enough. Or if you don't want to get that crazy with it, shoot it so it's going to go in here. Right? Just take that extra split second to aim it and shoot it so it goes right there, right? And then it'll go in here. You're, you're, when you fade like that, you fade it because you had, you had bad positioning. If you were standing where the turret was, you wouldn't have had to fade any of that. Well, I like that you, that you put pressure on him while he's down. Right? You, you have some good, you have some good habits, which I, I don't typically see in silver. So that's, that's good. A little late, but I feel like you probably get, you probably get punished for your positioning a lot, especially if you get in a higher lobby than what you're used to. I, I feel like that probably bites you a lot. 
All right, well, there's 30 seconds left in this, and uh, we're coming up on 15 minutes. Okay, so, I, yeah, I, I try to like to, I kind of want to get the overall of these VOD reviews down to about this length, maybe 15, 20 minutes, um, just so I don't feel like I'm repeating myself all the time. Uh, so, again, so let me repeat myself. Let's look at, uh, to recap, uh, I like your orbs, right? Be a little bit more thoughtful about them because um, there was somewhere it, you kind of panic shot an orb or like you shot a healing orb at a uh, enemy and you shot a damage orb at an ally. Just be a little bit more thoughtful about it and take that extra split second to aim it where you want it to go, where you're going to get more value out of it, right? For the most part, you do that, but you can see there's there's definitely room for improvement. Um. Uh, Coalescence usage is decent. You seem to be using it at the right times. Um, I would definitely try and get more value out of it by looking looking for different ways to set yourself up uh, to get to get more kills from it, right? Or or uh, really, that's it. Get more kills from it. But like used it in that soldier's face. I thought that was pretty funny. But like stuff like that's good. If they are isolated like that, and you're he's the only kill you're gonna get, right? I'd still do it. So you know just. Consider your your ult usage. Um, if the enemy has a Reinhardt, you can bait out Shatter with it. So uh, enemy Reinhardts love to just shatter the instant you coalescence. It's it's like a magic button. It's like the Shatter button. It's like you're pressing Q for them. So you can use that to your advantage. Stay out of range of the Shatter or stay in your cover where you can you can juke behind it real quick when he shatters and it won't get you. Um, and then your the biggest thing to work on is positioning. You're out in the open a lot. You get forced to use your fade a lot, as opposed to using your fade to reposition aggressively or use your fade for as a positioning tool. You're using it as a uh, bad positioning crutch, if that makes more sense. Um, so, anyway, yeah, work, work on your positioning. And I think the more you stay alive, I feel like you get punished a lot because of your positioning, and simply just staying alive longer is ultimately going to help you win more games. So, um, so just, just keep it up and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.